Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. In the last episode, we managed to make our way into Stonekeep, beat Warlord Hammer, just barely, and get Phil's key. So we, we have four keys down and eight more to go. So without further ado, we need to find that door in the forest that Merlin was talking about and unlock it. We don't really know where that door is. Well, we're going to have to go to some unexplored territory in order to find where that thing is. And before I do that, I want to switch my knights up. This may or may not be a short video, but whatever. I'm cutting this little task in two halves. Anyway, I want to replace Phil, the guy we got the key with last time. I want to remove him, and I want to replace him with Tone. You definitely want to bring him with you at this point in the game, because we're going to be doing something that involves Tone. And I bet you can very well narrow down what that thing is. And I want to replace Sir Wally with... Mm, Darren. Let's give him some more screen time. You can bring whoever you want for the other one. And without further ado, we need to head back to Camelot, and we need to fight off the Dark Knights again before we can warp, just like every other time we've done things in the game. As you can see, I can get very annoyed by this, and thankfully we managed to fight those guys off very quickly. Now, let's go to the map, and remember how I warped to an area near where the swamp was? Well, you do want to warp to that, to that exact same spot, because that's how we're going to get to our next area. Instead of going west, you want to go east, and when you see a path leading to the north, take it. That part is now open to you, and you are now in the northern forest. You want to make your way to the north, and apparently Tone is swinging because of mushrooms. Yeah, these guys show up again. Also, those things move. I did not even notice that. But they move very, very, very slowly. They just inch forward. Now that we got that out of the way, let's just go north from here. And we want to go northwest kind of-ish. Go north of the first fork then go west shortly thereafter, and then go north again. I need Darren with me. Yeah, that is Darren. Okay. Wanna keep going no- Oh no, I did not know those guys were there. That- those guys are jerks. Yeah, I do not like the poison mist circles. Anyway, you want to go further north and fight off these pixies. Apparently if you stick around where those, uh, near that north exit, you will get hit by those poison mist clouds. Alright. Now we need to go to the north and go towards this dirt patch in the forest. This is a hidden entrance to this open field where there's nothing but a shadow of a huge thing in the sky. I'm guessing it's a floating island of some sort, maybe? I mean, if it's that massive, that's probably one of a few options of what it might be. But we have to go there, otherwise the game won't let us do things. It basically works as an invisible plot wall. There is supposed to be dialogue there, but for some reason it never triggers in the game. Why? I don't know. Anyway, at this point you want to head to the east. And I believe, once you go over here, you can keep going east, and you will find the door that Merlin was talking about. Well, we need to do some things that involve finding keys in order to open that door. And I'm pretty sure it will lead to some place that we really want to be. For now, let's go ahead and follow the path south, 
and go east as soon as we are able. Good. I got the guys with me. I want to keep them with me, too, because as soon as you go north, as soon as you're able to, you have five blue knights. These guys are showing up in large numbers from this point on. And we were able to take that down, guy down fairly well. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but if you go into this corner right here, okay, not that corner, this corner, you will meet the Gnome King. His son and heir has been missing for two days and he wants you to help him find him. Let's choose yes, because after all, we are King Arthur and the Knights. Or at least they're very competent substitutes. That's not important. Right now, we just need to go north after talking to the Gnome King. And we should be able to find the Gnome King's son right here. New enemies here, the Red Knights and the Green Knights. The Red Knights are stronger than the Blue Ones, and the Green Ones are stronger than the Red Ones. You won't find many, many of these enemies. And if you can, strike one enemy twice, turn towards the other one, strike that one twice, and just keep going and going in case you're surrounded by two enemies. Once you fight all these guys off successfully, slash at the Gnome King son with your sword to free him from those ropes, and he'll head back home underground to the Gnome Village. We could follow him home just to get some gratif- not gratification, but gratitude from his dad. That sounded really awkward. I don't even know why I said that. But we don't want to do that just yet. Instead, we want to go to the west and then go north. Why are we doing this? Well, we have to fight off these things. And these things can do quite a bit of damage, these little fire elementals, but once we're able to fight those guys off, we can get the fire key. It's the one of four elemental keys used to unlock that door that we found earlier. We are done there, so let's go ahead and get back to where the Gnome King was. All we have to do that now is just go back to where we met the Gnome King and we'll meet him again. He will give us the Earth Key. So we already have two keys. He also tells you to be careful because people are always digging and it's easy to fall into the holes. Yes, we are going there as soon as he goes down. Once again, we will meet the Gnome King's son, who has a test for us. If we can somehow get all the way to the other side, we will be rewarded by the prize on the pedestal. He tells you that the one who can claim that prize must be of a confused note. There is supposed to be dialogue where Tone says that the prize is his, but for some reason it doesn't trigger. I don't know why. But this is why you need to bring Tone. Anyway, uh, it's just an empty feel. I'll just... Whoa, hey! Yeah, if you fall, if you go into the wrong area, if you take a wrong step, you will go down, you will have to take the stairs here, and you will have to start this all over. You will take damage, and unlike the Lady of the Lakes maze, you won't know where that hole is, so it's really easy to mess this up again. And you will have to listen to what the Gnome King's son has to say every single time time you have to restart you have to go through all that text so here's what you got to do got to go right a little bit not right far enough to go to the hole then you want to go down go where these two little leaves in the ground intersect and then stand right here where these two right to the right of the little dirt patch there go right don't touch the white flowers go all the way up Go all the way to the right. Do not touch the shadow of the tree. Go all the way to the right. You want to be standing to the left of the rock. Go all the way... Okay, I should have went one tile 
down more. Okay, let's do this again. And this time I'm gonna get it right, hopefully. Yes, we know! Alright. Tap right a little bit. Go to the south. Stand on this flower. Stand where these two leaves of grass intersect. Then you want to go up until you stand to the right of the dirt clod. Then you stand to the left of these white flowers. Go all the way up. Go all the way to the right. Do not touch the, fl the shadow of the tree. And you want to be down and left of that rock there. Go all the way to the right. And once you go down from there, you'll hear a sound saying the curse has been broken and you can actually go all the way to the pedestal. Now, that's not all. Remember the scroll that we had to get from the old woman in Walton Village? Well, you have to go to your inventory screen and press B on it. This will let you use the scroll. Then... You can unpause the game. King Arthur will finally use the scroll, and he'll finally read from it. This allows the key here to finally materialize. And guess what? That key belongs to Tone. And King Arthur wonders what a confused note is. Well, you have to keep walking down and right and hope that Tone actually touches the key so that he takes it. I have to admit, the allies' AI are not the best in the world. We finally have Tone's key of truth. He finally can use the shield attacks without any shield orbs lost as soon as he's able to get his shield. And we are instantly warped back to Camelot. But we are still not done because we only have two of the keys. We will have to go do some more things in order to find a way to get to the door that we found in the forest. But that will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time where I explore more of that area and hopefully get that door open. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!